WIC News Today with Anna Galindo and Thomas Pian. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to WIC News. Today we have information regarding the ever-changing U.S. demographics and how these are transforming the face of corporate America. Did you know 90% of Fortune 500 companies have or will soon have employee networks or affinity groups? Once, these groups serve to help employees meet co-workers from similar backgrounds. Today, employee networks assist companies in recruiting, retention, representation, community relations, marketing, and communications. That's correct. And for many companies, employee networks are a big part of the company's diversity strategy. Because a company is only as diverse as its employees, these affinity groups may be composed of women, African Americans, Asian Americans, Hispanics, older workers, GBLTs, gays, bisexuals, lesbians, and transgendered, etc., and they frequently serve as external advisory groups. Now, these groups are open to all employees of the company. Each network has a structure with leaders, periodic meetings, and objectives. Examples of companies with employee networks are Citigroup, Shell, Verizon, Ford Motor Company, and here locally, Xerox, Bosch & Lomb, and Eastman Kodak Company. And to learn more about these employee-driven organizations, we have invited to our show today Mr. Antonio Perez, Chairman and CEO of Eastman Kodak Company, who will give us some details about Kodak's employee networks. Antonio, thanks for taking the time to talk to us about Eastman Kodak Company's employee networks. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Antonio, please tell us about employee networks at Kodak. Uh, employee networks have been part of the Kodak's culture since the 1980s. Today we have eight employee networks plus their, their affiliates across the U.S. and around the world. And to better understand what each one is, uh, let me show you. Kodak and the employee networks have worked together to create an inclusive culture that welcomes and values diversity and inclusion in all aspects, not limited to gender, sexual preference, and ethnic background and also including diversity of thought and experience. Creating a successfully inclusive culture is only achieved through educational events and seminars supported by management. In this manner, all Kodak employees can learn about and get to appreciate the different constituencies, employees with different capabilities, visible and non-visible, gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgendered employees, employees with interest in veterans' issues, and those focusing on African Americans, Asian Americans, Hispanic Americans, Native Americans, and women in general. Kodak's employee networks strive to fulfill their members' appetite for culturally enriching events that are not only educational, but that also facilitate easy interaction with Kodak's senior executives. From learning about different organizations and career opportunities within Kodak, to providing the right atmosphere to free the mind and fulfill the spirit, Kodak's employee networks cover all the bases via lunch and learn sessions as well as culturally relevant social and educational events. Functioning as resource groups, Kodak's employee networks provide a supportive environment where information, experiences, and mutual concerns can be exchanged with other network members and management. They also provide opportunities to grow through skill building, career planning, and mentoring. Each network has a management sponsor appointed by Kodak's chairman and CEO to counsel and interact with the network's leadership. Each employee network promotes inclusion, recognizing and valuing their members' achievements, capabilities, and contributions, as well as promoting equal access to career and cultural opportunities. Kodak's leaders count on every one of the networks to educate Kodak people, not only about issues related to their constituencies, but also in pointing out opportunities with diverse customers and suppliers. Employee networks are passionate about making Kodak a great place to work for all employees and making Kodak more successful. Employees who take part in a network activity describe their experiences with words such as energy, invaluable resource, passion in education, pride, love, growth, proud opportunity to mature, deep personal growth, partnering, invaluable, 
fun, family, and learning. That was indeed eye-opening, Antonio. Thank you very much for sharing with us. And just one more thing. Yes? Why do you consider employee networks important? It's because we need to foster a healthy dialogue and debate around key issues in the company. I've often said that there's no truth without debate. We just won't get the, that debate and that dialogue and that diversity of thought without diversity in our people. You see, simply put, employee networks have a key role in creating and maintaining a culture that values diversity and inclusion while promoting dialogue and debate. These are nonprofit, voluntary organizations that are open to all employees and retirees, and I applaud every Kodak employee who gets involved and actively participates in his or her network of interest. Thank Thanks, you, Antonio. Antonio. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me.